18 wheelers are honking at us because Tina looks like a street walker. Child, that sounds so fat and piggly. <laughs> and I'm about to introduce her to a whole new world. <laughs> now, it might be a little bit of the Tito's talking right now. Hey! <laughs> I'm too sexy for this chain. Too sexy for your game. Too sexy for this fame. Yeah, yeah. So guys, we're in New York. Say hey, Tina. Hi. A lot of y'all knew. Y'all knew already when I said I'm taking Tina on a birthday trip wherever she wants to go. <laughs> I said it's her favorite city. If y'all really know Tina, y'all would know what city it is. I ain't gonna tell y'all. So many of y'all was like New York, New York, duh, New York. <laughs> they were like, she loved New York men. I do, I do, I do. And I'm about to introduce her to a whole new world. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so y'all, we're about to uh, get our Uber head to the hotel and I'm gonna uh, tap back in in just a minute. Y'all we're in a tunnel. Uh, <laughs> some of y'all that are from New York this ain't nothing to y'all but I've only been here like four or five times so this is so different. So we got to our hotel we're at the Mondrian Park Ave. Oh my god it smells so good in here. What fragrance is this? This is like Santal. This is like Le Labo Santal or something. The bruise from the bottom. And what is it called? Ma how do you mate. say it? M -A -T -T -E. Mate. M-A-T-T-E. Mate. And of course, we would just say mat. Mm -hmm. So the, the tradition is it's passed around, like, in, among friends. You, you drink from the same drink one. and you give it to the next it's one. It's very cultural in Argentina. It's Ar an Argentina drink. Yeah. So it's a tea, right? I mean, a tea, okay. Yeah. Sort of like a tea. So sort of like a tea, but the culture it smell, is like, I could, yeah, It smells yeah. really good. Like, I could smell... Yeah. There's Tina. She's in 1602. I'm right here, 1604. There's only, I believe, eight rooms on this floor. Because if y'all didn't know, New York, they build everything up. So it's like narrow and high. Okay, let's go in the room. And I love that I'm right at the elevator. I need to see where the ice machine at, because y'all know me and Adventures of Ice, when I travel, it be a whole mess. Okay, y'all, this is the room. <laughs> And this is one of the more expensive rooms because I did get a balcony, so did Tina. Um, this is New York, guys. Everything is small, so I ain't driven, you know. I, this, is, this is it. So this is like the little closet. <laughs> it's right here at the bed. This is the bathroom. And they actually could have made the bathroom a little smaller to give me a little bit more space in my room. But it's nice, okay. Here's the shower. They do have two shower heads. I will only be using that one. Y'all know black girls don't like rainforest showers. Okay. Okay, let's go on the patio. Oh. And right below us is the terrace. This is how it looks. They have like a DJ, a bar, food, everything. New York City treat me right. Lickle. Lickle. Oh, I didn't even look at my bathroom yet. They could have took some of the bathroom out to make the room bigger. But I knew New York rooms were yeah, gonna be tiny. small. They're yeah, small. I, I I knew that already. When I was looking at the square footage yeah. online, I was like, oh, that's small. I like how they have this mirror thing over the bed, though. Yeah, I think it's cute. It's, it's nice. Really cute. Yeah. I ain't mad at it. Did you look at yours. I'm like, do I have a bathroom? I don't remember seeing it. I, I, you didn't look or, like look around your room. I just went straight out to the balcony. Cause it's are right. you overlooking the, yeah, um, the terrace? Hello. 
Yes. Hi. Oh, I like that your bed is facing the uh, the balcony. So this is Tina's room. Hers looks a slightly more spacious. Yeah, because look, remember? Her mini bar is open. Mine has a glass covering over it. My bathroom's half of your size. Oh, her bathroom is smaller. See, this is what I was saying, guys. They could have took the bathroom down and made my room bigger, but that's what they did for her room. Did your room suck? You know the vibes when we walking around town. That's as fast, nothing, and, and we homebound. <laughs> You remember that song oh, by, what was uh, her name? The shit, what's her name? Um, something, something, Carol we're homebound. That's her last name. Uh, Don't hurt me getting with D. Fast. Um, I used to know, like, if it was playing, I would know all Yeah. Of but yeah, we're walking to get some liquor, of course. Because what's a trip without getting lit? Without being a lush, you know? Right, so, right here. Yeah, I said it was just like a little five minute walk, so we're like, Y'all, and it feels oh, so no, good out here. Even though it's like 80 something degrees, I can breathe, like, and it's like breezy. You go outside in Houston, it's hard to breathe because it's so hot and the air is thick and humid. Kessler Wines and Spirits. Hello. Tito's is simple. Because yeah. everybody, like, are you Russian? Like, what are you? I like vodka. I we like vodka. I know y'all like Casamigos. I cannot do it. I we drink Tito's and Ciroc still. Do you have um, juice, or do we have to buy that from like a corner store? No juice. Okay. This is so, this is nostalgic. I literally made him go get the boombox off. Wow. Yeah, this is some straight New York hip hop, <laughs> 1984. I want my sister to work. Chuck B, Rock him. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we were gonna get a deli sandwich, but we saw a little burger spot over here. So we're gonna try this. It's called Handsome Burger. Oh yeah, and they have seating. Yeah, this is better. So they have a little patio that we're sitting at, or we could have sat inside this little area here. Oh, y'all can't see the name, but anyways, this is it. It's called Handsome Burger. Is it sweet? Mm -hmm. This is how the food looks, y'all. Burger, fries. The burger's really little. But we ain't need a big burger because we're about to eat in a few hours anyway. This is the kimchi? That's the, the kimchi aioli. Mmm, that's good. Let me taste this Korean barbecue sauce. Reservations at 10.15 or 10.30. Something like that. But anyway, I need to take my shoes off. Y'all, I've had my sneakers on since 8 a.m. And what time is it? 8 p.m.? Yes, 8 p.m. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, these toes need to breathe. Oh, I need a good... I need a nice shower too. I just wanna, I wanna just lay back and take a nap. Like that's what I wanna do. I could, I could take like a little 45 minute nap. Tina said she was gonna take a nap. So I could take like a little 45 minute nap. Just trying to think. Do y'all think it's weird that I don't like sharing rooms? Like when I travel, I like just to, 
me put this down. I like to be by myself. Is that weird? First of all, I definitely couldn't have shared this room. Do y'all see how small it is? Like, from here to here. Like, it, this is a small room. I could not imagine two people in here. We would have to literally walk sideways past each other. So that's a no. But anywhere I travel, I don't like to share a room because when I wake up in the morning, I want to be in silence for at least 30 minutes before I communicate with anybody. I want to lay there. I want to scroll on my phone. I don't want to interact with nobody. I just want to check emails and scroll. When I'm tired, when I want to take a nap, I want to be able to take a nap. I don't want nobody in the room with me saying, get up, get up. Oh, you not fun. Get up. and da -da. If I'm tired, sis need her nap. Okay? Also, if I want to shit, I want to shit in peace. Y'all already know. Like, when I drink a lot, do y'all think that's weird that I don't like sharing hotels with people? I will. Like, if I'm going on a group trip and everybody's paired up in the room, then I'm not going to be the odd man out. I'm, I'm going to take one for the team and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to share a room with somebody. I ain't sharing a bed with nobody, but I'll share a room. We can have two clean beds. So, I don't know. I just, it's like I'm social, I'm fun, I get along with everybody, but bitch, I need my time to myself. You understand? You get it? Now it's time to make a drink. Time for a drink. Time for a drink, a drink. Seats from staying for my fifth award. Clink, clink. The face of the night. Hold on. What y'all know about this song? If you my age, you, you know the voice. You recognize the voice. That's Foxy Brown. Let me stop her for a minute. This is the face of the night. I don't know if I like my lips. I think they're a little bit too pasty. I might change those. But anyway, makeup is done. But guys, guess who's on their way to go to dinner with us? Can y'all guess? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm finally going to meet my New York babies, Kino and Fitz. Like with Kino and Fitz. Y'all know I love them. They have a couples channel. Y'all check them out. They have a couples channel and they have their own separate channels. I will link them down below. But Keno and Fitz are on their way. We're going to Julan for dinner. And then I think afterwards we're gonna go out and we're meeting one of Tina's girlfriends at stage. So what is that? Look like a little bug or something hanging. But anyway, let me hurry up and throw my clothes on because they'll probably be here within the next like 10 minutes. And I can't be walking around like this. I can't have a first impression like this. Okay. Right. I think they're here. Oh yeah, I'm not drinking all of that, but I'm gonna take a little bit of it. That's a little, 
<laughs> Kino poured double shots. Oh, that's hot. She just said no, wow. thank you, no me. Mm. Um. <laughs> that's that put that hand on your chest. Mm -hmm. It's okay though. It's not that it's bad. It's smooth though. <laughs> it's not bad. It's I just smooth. wasn't ready for it. <laughs> that was even more crazy. Is it makes you more hot every time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. You more hot. Yeah. she exactly. understands. Fit says I understand. I'm always hot. All I'm, the time. A, I'm a sweat. How do you do it in time. Houston? It's like with that heat. That's why I don't want makeup. Right, but you don't need I don't, to. I don't wear makeup. I only wear makeup literally if I'm going on a date or if I'm going like out. out. Like lashes and lip that, gloss. Lashes and lip gloss. I, this is my fourth time here, mm. but the last time I came, it was with my ex fiance. Mm. You know, it's a different vibe when you like. Right. Mm -hmm. right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. it was different. I had fun. <laughs> in case you're watching, you know. But it's a, just it's a different vibe where you can just come out do what you want, like Let parties. You down for real. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. We've been, so I've been here since I was eight years old. Fence has been here for about four years now. Yeah, I moved here in 2018. Yeah. I, I'm from Connecticut, so it's only an hour away. So right, we're always in Connecticut, too. City. Most of the videos oh, okay. when you see us, like, partying and stuff, we're literally like, in your Connecticut. Your skin is beautiful. My? Is no, skin yours. Is, I have makeup on. Is she serious? I have, She's I literally, <laughs> y'all, I put on so much extra makeup today. No. I'm, you know, your skin is gorgeous. Thank you, I appreciate that. Do you have makeup that. on? I no. don't. I'm like, I would be dying if I had makeup on. Probably yeah, I'm on. No, but I mean, your skin is literally like. Really? Yes. Thank your skin you. is I like really Ashton. I was looking at Ashton, I'd be like, your skin is so pretty. She's gorgeous. <laughs> and I'm like, that's yeah, how you your have skin have is. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. She yeah. does not have to have me here blushing. <laughs> I'm, I'm all hot now. Oh my gosh. But no, thank you. I really appreciate it. Bye. I'm so sorry. Hi, so Hi beautiful. Look at her, y'all. Look at Tina. Of course, she was standing there with the phone. Another oh, in real oh, life. No. I'm but telling y'all. Nice. In real life. I'm How telling you. I'm good, but I can, I'm about to change the reservation to a little later. Because I already okay. know. Okay. Okay. I'll be late. No, yeah, of course. Okay. We're a little late. <laughs> never. tonight i think tomorrow is going to be better but i have fun tonight i'm tired i think it's 5 a.m hold on let me look at i'm a little tipsy where's my phone oh here it is it's 3 30 i'm talking about 5 a.m i just totally made that shit up <laughs> it's 3 30. kino and fitz went to mcdonald's i thought i was getting a deli sandwich they said the deli's closed so they went to McDonald's, so I asked for some french fries. Tina said they taking too long. She going to her room to go to sleep. I'm about to take my makeup off and lay my ass down too because I'm tired, boss. When I say tired, I'm tired and it's cold as fuck in my room. So, anyway, when these french fries get here, I'm about to enjoy them and I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow. Good morning, besties. <laughs> My voice don't sound that deep this morning, <clears throat> or does it? <clears throat> mm. Anyways, good morning. 
it's 11.40. I woke up at around 11, 10, 11, 15, something like that, and just been laying in bed ever since. But I didn't go to sleep until 4.30. So it's Saturday out here. Tina uh, was trying to figure out what she wants to do today. I think we're going to go to this little eating festival child that sounds so fat and piggly let me not call it an eating festival i think it's a food truck maybe it's where the food trucks go but yeah anyway i was just checking in with y'all wanting to say what's up y'all we had so much fun with kino and fitz I, I love them i absolutely love them so much when i tell y'all a good time just so sweet down to earth funny like Man, it's so crazy that um, you can meet somebody over the internet and just, you feel like you really get to know them by watching their videos. And I'm sure y'all probably feel the same way about me. Y'all watch me, y'all can really see my personality. Y'all feel like y'all know me. Some of y'all even might feel like, oh, I could vibe with Jean and hang out with her. You know, and seeing them in their videos, it's like, like, damn they cool they can dress nice like they funny like like to have a good time and then like that in real life you know what i mean just crazy uh so i'm so glad we got to hang out with them i want to hang out with them again uh before we leave maybe tonight shit they said we're down for the whole weekend <laughs> so we're gonna try to play some stuff for tonight tomorrow night so anyway all right y'all I need to edit. I honestly need to edit a little bit. I need to get some work done. While well, I'm trying to sit here and let me, y'all, shit, let me get some work. Okay, y'all, so this is today's look. I did put on a little bit of makeup because I'm out of town. Why not? Uh, curled my hair. The curls wasn't curling how they were supposed to. They wasn't acting right. So I was like, you know what? They're going to fall anyway once we get out in this heat. So. And then just a green dress from Amazon. This is that booty dress. Y'all see where it scrunch up and then the whole back is open. I literally have every color because, look, baby, they sweep the ground. So, y'all already know, anything I mention in the video, it will be linked down below. So, yeah. And then I just have on my crossbody Louis. I have on some black sandals. I forgot to bring brown sandals. Yeah, and then gold jewelry. Louis Vuitton bracelets. I just don't want anything extra in my hand and I'm bringing my camera. Oh, excuse me. And I hate that I didn't, and I hate that I didn't pack my smaller tripod handle. So I gotta carry this clunker around, but it's all good. All right, y'all, let's go to Tina's room, see what she doing. Back in with the elevator people. Now look at this couple. He with his gal. But buddy over here eyeballing him. He winking at him, trying to get his attention from boy. Sure. Yeah, I'm just messy. Excuse me. Oh, this seven. Oh, I'm about to get out on the wrong plane. See, I was talking about. I'm about to get out on the wrong level, Lord. Where, where was the closest store be? I need to buy a phone charger. Um, like just the closest. I see. So there's a a Dwayne Reed. On 28th, uh -huh. right next to McDonald's. So uh -huh. two, two blocks and then cross the street. So it should be right right on that side. On that on side? 28th. On 28th. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, uh, Tina wasn't ready. So we're going on a little walk. My computer died. And for some reason, my phone charger doesn't work anymore. Not my phone charger, but my computer charger. Weirdest thing. Where's Dwayne Reed? Y'all, Dwayne Reed is Walgreens. We don't have Dwayne Reed's in, in Houston. But when I went there yesterday and typed in my phone number, they are like, oh, it's Walgreens, it's all the same. I was like, hmm, oh, cool. So a question that I have is, why are these balance beams everywhere, literally, all over this city? Why? Is it because they're working on the building or because the building is so old and needs just extra support? bar now. They didn't have the item that she wanted next door. Oh, I want the 
Yes, Camille. Can you? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I can take that one. That's what the vodka? No, that's the oh, I'll use it so you don't have to. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that one. So, on my schedule today, it says. So, I got a mule. Instead of them using vodka, they use tequila. It's a Mayan mule. And Tina's getting a Mexcal mule. Hers is going to have like a kick to it, like a little spice. So that place was called Flats Fix. It was a Mexican restaurant and bar. They had burritos, tacos, tortas, cocktails, a real cute place and the wait staff was good. I'm gonna try to tell y'all all the places that I go to if I can remember. What is this up here? It looks like a little festival we walking up to. Union Square. Oh, okay. We're walking up to Union Square. And it looks like there's a lot of like vendors, food trucks. It's hard for y'all to kind of see, but all of these are vendors on that street over there. Then food trucks and stuff right here. We found a Mr. Softy ice cream truck. Y'all know this is real old school. Hot dog stand. And that's on period. They got all the cute Shan glasses. Look at like, all these them. glasses. Those are real cute. You're like, do you want them or not? Those are cute. Phone cases. Everybody selling something. Yeah. We're getting on the train. No. This is the eating thing I told you guys about. It's called Smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. And we have just arrived. It's at, I believe, Marsha Park. I think that's what this is called. No, I do what you, I kind of want We've already had a burger. Now we're trying the fries. What what kind of sauce is this? Garlic aioli. So garlic aioli sauce. Gar lemon garlic aioli. Actually. Lemon garlic aioli. That's good. Did a fresh squeezed lemonade. Did you order the blueberry lemonade? Oh. Y'all have met a subscriber! Yes, I love her. I love oh. her. Support her channel. Because she's the kid. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. No. Larice. Larice. Larice, yes. Girl, it was so nice meeting you. <laughs> I really I don't appreciate it. girl shit. <laughs> I really don't. But I'm a, a regular, regular girl. And this girl. is why I stopped you. Yeah. That's why I stopped you. I was like, ah. Keep doing it. Thank and you, I'm girl. Keep oh, thank I you. you. I love you. Oh, I love you, babe. <laughs> that inspired me more to try to Yes. Tell her. <laughs> Hello. 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 I like how we have done got a vegan donut. Pomegranate peach lemonade. Mustard Next, we're trying to grill cheese. Yeah. Side. Yeah. 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 And can I taste this sweet chili? Right cheese dog. Where's the hot dog at? I didn't get any hot dog yet. You, you might get some on that bite. Did you get hot dog? Ooh, hot. Water, water, water. 
So why are you with me? Huh? Go! The Apollo with Kiki Shepard. So this is Harlem. Right now we're just walking around. So we caught the Uber from Smorgasbord. Where, where was Smorgasbord at? In Brooklyn. That's Brooklyn. Williamsburg, Brooklyn. So now this is Harlem. And y'all, I'm, I'm just so happy it's not that high. Like, it feels, it's, it feels, it feels really good. Cute sunglasses. Yeah. Every, I mean, just. How much for the mango? $5. Five? Yes. One mango? One, please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, mommy. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm going show you my shit. I do shit. Y'all look high. 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 Oh, it looks so juicy. I'm about to take a look at this right. Look who I'm with. We out here in Harlem, yeah. live, lit. This lady's devouring her beautiful mangoes. Ooh, this, this is what we do in Harlem out here. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a bite. No, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> we out here. We out here. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. She wants that Patron punch. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I got you. Talk about that. You ready? Ice cold. Ice cold. Okay, okay. Y'all came back. Uh oh. Yeah. That must go to that concert tomorrow. Who in concert? Sydney. That not concert, but you're coming out. Oh, I thought you lived up the street. We live in Houston. That's right. Yeah, he lives in Houston. Oh, okay, okay. How much? Big Ten. How much are they? Ten. Yeah. There's a problem with Instagram. You guys, okay, I'm following you. Okay, mommy, just buy, back up. <laughs> just buy me a drink from the best nutcrackers. Right. This yeah, is him yeah, on yeah, Instagram. You know. right. On Instagram, the best nutcrackers. The best nutcrackers. Now we about to get on your ass and ain't gonna waste no time. <laughs> I'm about to try it now. Right. He said, yeah, put, put you dead, dead on your ass, ass and not wasting no time. time. I got the Patron. You already know. Yeah, 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 yes, sir. yeah, yeah. Mm. Houston is in the mm, building. Mm. Houston is in the building. Now, now let me do a promo. Let me do a promotion for you. Get on my page, cause you know what I mean. Put you on my page. Just looking at the, some of the architecture here. These are brownstones. So people live, of course, up here. Multi families. Some live down at the bottom. It's cool. Like Houston ain't got nothing like this. I can just imagine, like, what, what year was this built? Houston likes to tear shit down. So, what we designed, so this is where it's at. This is the famous Dapper Dan's showroom. These are, y'all see him on some of the magazine covers. It's, y'all see the gate, it's closed right now because it's almost like 7 p.m. Oh, cool. Okay, y'all, so we're inside of the brownstone. This is Tina's friends. Brownstone, he said, I could take some pictures. Just look at the architecture, y'all. This is his bedroom. Like, look at these doors. Look at the windows. He has so much vintage stuff in here. Like, this is like a wardrobe with a mirror, drawers. He has an old coat machine in here. This is like the nook in the bedroom, like the powder area where you can get ready and hold your perfume, cologne, whatever. And this is probably from the original barn that they said, wow. A typewriter, he has a fireplace in his bedroom. So he just keeps it looking like real vintage in here. I think that's maybe like a Radi old radiator. I don't know what this is. And this is the hallway coming out. We're on the second level, I believe. 
look at the bathroom. Like, just look at the tile on the walls. Look, the, these are the lights. This might be an original tub, I'm not sure, but it still has the, the claw feet. Look at this mirror in the bathroom. You can open the window. The door slides closed. It doesn't shut, it slides. And it door. So tall. Wow. This is a bin. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, they have holistic drinks. They also got these patties. But these are the shots that we're about to take. Sorry, y'all, if I'm loud talking right in the microphone. The, there's music playing. I don't so the first shot we're taking is called a chocolate. And it's herbal. These are all her herbal, what, herbal shots? I don't know, but you get, you get a little buzz. You get a buzz off them, but they're good for you. All right, we're taking it like a real shot. This drink is tasty. He said sip it. I, I never like a shot. They're not the best flavor to me. It's good for you. It's good for you. This one here is called a screaming pussy. This is a sticky and this is a screaming pussy. Screaming pussy. Okay. Okay. Sorry, thank you. Facially baited. Y'all, the music was loud in there, but this is the place. It's Joss Seal. And as you can see, it says organic, natural, holistic. So these shots are like good for you but they also get you fucked up finally about to get my chopped cheese this was recommended by one of tina friends so this is the place it's called blue blues deli something like that chopped cheese open 24 hours so he said get a chopped cheese and a chopped steak try both and compare so that's what we're doing to try the chopped cheese y'all this is how it looks sorry i have horrible lighting and we're in the back of an uber <laughs> but this is what it looked like and tina said it's made the aki way i don't know what the difference is but it's the chopped cheese we got mayonnaise ketchup lettuce and tomato on it we also got chopped steak made the same way Chopped cheese, ketchup mayo. Mmm. And we got chopped steak. Fire. Y'all, this is the terrace part of the hotel. The music is blasting, so y'all ain't gonna get about two seconds of footage. But they play amazing music, hip hop. Old school hip hop all day. All, they played that all day yesterday too. Oh, it's big down here. They jamming out here, y'all. It's just empty. Nobody's out here. Everybody be out here around like two, three o'clock. Sweet that nasty that pushy stuff. What's up, y'all? Back in the room. When I tell y'all, I just took the most amazing shower. My body needed that. Makeup is off. Ugh. Laying in bed at 10 o'clock. So what me and Tina, we said we're gonna do because we are tired. We did so much walking today. But, so we just said we were gonna try to rest for like an hour and then get up and do something. We didn't make dinner reservations. We don't know if we going to a club later or not. She's kind of hinting that she doesn't want to. So we'll see. 
but we just know that we need a showers and to just lay down whether that's taking a nap or just relaxing so <clears throat> new york is a city that never sleeps or is that vegas vegas is sin city i think new york is the city that never sleeps right anyway but even if we left out at let's say 12 midnight restaurants are still gonna be open you know it i think we're, we we, we will still be good so but anyway so that's the plan for now i ain't got no other updates y'all i'm about to take me a quick little cat nap i'm a little beauty nap you know y'all i chafed i don't know what chafing is hold on let me google chafing so y'all know i wore that dress today and 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 my thighs rubbed together so hours upon hours of my thighs rubbing together then it was hot outside, so it's a little moist down there. I have two red circles about this big midway through my thigh on both thighs in the same spot. So like on so like on this thigh right here, this thigh right here. They about this big. They red and it's like irritated. When I hear the word chafing, I think of like skin rubbing off blisters bumps it's just a red mine's just a red area let me chafing did i spell it right oh i think that is chafing chafing is a common skin problem caused by friction moisture and irritating fabric prolonged rubbing of the skin makes your skin sting and burn okay yes i have chafing let me look at that picture a image so this is the image that came up can y'all see that? His or hers look splotchy in a huge area. It's not like that. Mine is the size of like the top of a cup. So about this big, the size of like a cookie, you know? Mine ain't for the whole inner thigh. They showing pictures of people that's literally the whole. Okay, mine looks more like this. This kind of more how mine looks. You see how? Y'all see how it's just like a circle? That's how mine is. Just one red. Yep. There you go. The color going in and out. But just one red circle. It's weird. Yeah, I chafed y'all. Tina was like, you don't wear deodorant in, inside your thighs? I said, no. This I ain't never had this issue. This I ain't never happened before. So no, I haven't. Anyway, let me take a quick look at now. Y'all already know what happened. The sun is out. It's the next morning. Why do we think we would be able to take an hour nap at 1030 at night? Why? Next thing I knew, I'm waking up and it's 530 a.m. I said, damn, we slept the whole time. I looked at my phone. With no call, missed call, or no text from Tina. I put my phone back down, went right on back to sleep. And here we are. I had a crazy ass dream that that one of Tina's boyfriend, not of course in real life, Tina ain't got no boyfriend, but I'm just saying, in my dream, it was her boyfriend. I was dog sitting for him, and the damn dog died. I be having weird ass dream. Damn dog died and the damn dog like shriveled up in the middle of the night. And then the next morning when I woke up, I'm like, is this dog dead? It just looked like a little burnt up piece of... Y'all, I be having like the craziest dreams. I, I don't understand why. In my dreams, I can fly. I can run as fast as like a lightning bolt. Oh my God, I be having weird dreams. Well, anyway, we have a full day here. It is 8.30 in the morning. I'm probably gonna lay here, scroll on my phone for a minute, and then call Tina. At least we had fun during the day yesterday and did a lot of stuff. I'm mad that we didn't go to dinner or go to like and party, but I'm sure we're gonna make up for it today. So I'm gonna check back in with y'all. <laughs> Your girl up, getting her makeup done. 
Let me turn down light skin Keisha. This is who y'all say my twin is. Anyway, so we are going to Brooklyn today. Um, we don't really have like a set schedule. Schedule is like we're just doing things on a whim. Like I said, those brunch reservations were just made like an hour ago, last minute. But I'm about to make me a drink though, y'all. It's still morning time. It's still a.m. But I'm about to make me a drink because today is our last full day here. And we got to make the best of it. I still have all them shots from that Jamaican spot last night. Maybe that's what I'm going to drink. Or maybe I should. I'm about to say, maybe I could take those back home with me. No, the cup's not secure. Let me make me a drink. I'm going to be eight. <laughs> Bitch, it's 11 a.m., but I'm getting tipsy. This angle literally is showing my double chin and my fat ass neck, but I'm not going to show any nipples, so it is what it is. But y'all, just let me tell y'all a few things I have mm, learned, gathered, noticed. That's the word, bitch. I'm a little bit tipsy. Okay, excuse me. Hold on. I can't have a double chin just on display, so let me come in a little bit. Stand up straight. Okay, you can see me and the titties ain't showing. All right. What I have learned about New Yorkers. You can tell who is a New Yorker and who is a tourist or on vacation. All New Yorkers wear backpacks. They wear backpacks. And men, women, or they have satchels that go across their chest. You know how they say New York is like fashion capital of the world? No, like the New Yorkers that live here, they wear their sneakers. Girls have on their mom jeans and their crop tops. The dudes have on their hoochie daddy shorts or some of them are like in the preppy look. You can just tell a New Yorker how Sarah Jessica Parker on Sex and the City with the heels and the dresses and the Manolo Blahniks and this is, bitch, it ain't like that. They're comfortable. They are in their comfortable clothes. It could be a multi-millionaire walking by you, but she gonna have on her mom, her vintage, she gonna have on her vintage mom jeans, her dirty Air Force One sneakers and a little crop top and a little satchel over her shoulder that says save the earth. That's how everybody dresses here. Okay, some of them walk around with suitcases, but everybody has a big bag with them. And I asked Tina, I'm like, why does everybody carry a suitcase, a backpack, a huge like duffel bag? Tina's like, because when you leave the house in New York, you're not coming back for a while. And she was like, and then you might have to lug it upstairs. And then you might have to have a long ass walk. Like she was like, you can't, you try to get all of your shit in one just walk. So I've noticed that. I've also noticed everybody has dogs. Everybody living in New York got a fucking dog. I have seen massive dogs that literally look like Sasquatches and I've seen tiny, we saw this big old buff like nigga nigga. Look like he just slang dope. Like he was probably out there back in the streets with Jay-Z back in the late 80s, early 90s with this little, little miniature fluffy little poodle looking dog. And we like, what the fuck? Like, everybody has a fucking dog in New York, okay? They don't have, like, their hair done. Like, the white girls, their hair is just, like, put in a bun, put back in a ponytail. Like, nobody has their hair curled, just makeup on, just, like, nobody's wearing brand name stuff. New York, like, New Yorkers, they dress, they dress for, like, comfort. You know what I mean? You can tell me and Tina ain't from here. We in our crop tops, our leggings, our sandals. Nobody really wears sandals. I may have seen a couple of Birkenstocks here and there. They got on sneakers. They got on jeans. They have on their backpacks. They have on their headphones. And they on a fucking mission. So, that's what I have noticed. It's very cute though. Like, New Yorkers started wearing the mom jeans before mom jeans became popular. You know, mom jeans became popular like two years ago. New Yorkers were already on it. New Yorkers were already on the vintage trend. Like New Yorkers, like you go to other cities, Atlanta, Houston, it's a fashion show. You got to have your labels, your name brand, your body got to look a certain way. Like New York is like, we that shit. We, the, we that bitch. Like we that bitch, but we ain't got to show you all of our skin. We ain't got to show you how much money we got in the bank. Like we, we that shit. 
but you ain't gotta know. Like you ain't gotta look at us and know that we got a million dollars in the bank, that we got three, four, five properties. You know what I mean? I fucking love it. I fucking, I love it. Now it might be a little bit of the Tito's talking right now, but that's just my observation. And bikes, like so many people ride bikes. There's so many like DoorDash um, people on bikes. And I'm asking Tina, I'm like, cause she, when I say I'm asking Tina because she comes to New York, she's probably been in New York for like 30 times. I've only been here like four. <laughs> so she's like, yeah, it doesn't, she's like parking is very limited here. She's like, once you get a parking spot in front of your building, you want to keep that parking spot and you only want to move if you absolutely have to. So it's cheaper to get DoorDash. It's cheaper to walk somewhere, not cheaper, but it makes more sense. She's like, if you leave for five minutes to go pick up your food, when you come back, your parking spot's going to be gone. So. Let me finish curling my hair because Tina's already ready and I'm just talking to y'all. What y'all know about itty bitty piggy? Y'all see this thing moving? I totally forgot we had a And I think, you know what? Because, you know, I always say tequila fucks me up as far as like. I, it makes me sleepy. I, I just think, can't fuck with tequila. I think it was that that thing that we bought off the street. Let me. Um, oh, that nutcracker. Yeah. yeah. No, or uh, cranberry and, and ginger. Yeah, because that. I mean that. That's like a normal combination. Orange and ginger. That seems weird. She about to get on my level. <laughs> this is just like a big ass shot. I really just made. We don't need sunglasses. We look like it's overcast outside. Yeah, but sunglasses still look cute. Tina's downstairs getting a room key made because she always forgets her room keys for some reason. But, oh, and I don't think I showed y'all my nails earlier. These are from Kiss. I got on their PR list somehow. Cool as hell being an influencer. But this is the, um, why the hell did it stop right here? But this is like their French, y'all can see. They're a little bit longer than what I normally do, but I absolutely love them. Y'all know I only pull out the nails this long when I'm on vacation. When I'm home, it's coming right to the tip of my finger. Look at these. Y'all want to get fake boobs. Y'all want to get work done. Y'all get y'all ass done, like me because y'all don't get them rich ass niggas. But anyway, y'all wanna get y'all titties, your nipples is always gonna be on headlight. They always gonna be on hard for whatever reason. But I've always had big, massive uh, Aunt Jemima nipples, so. Anyway, I came back to the room while she's getting a new key made because I left my energy shot. I showed y'all these yesterday. This one's called Pussy Pussy <laughs> I'm tipsy already because I've had two glasses of Tito's. But anyway, did I show y'all my outfit? I didn't give y'all an outfit check. Oh shit, I'm a bad vlogger. Hold on. So this is an outfit check. This top was from the UAL. Sergio Secret. Shout out to him. What's up, baby? What's up, boo? Hope you watching. Uh, he put everybody on in Houston. So this shirt is by NSF. Um, these pants are cheap as hell. <laughs> these pants are like $15. A little bit shorter than what I'd like, but I like them to kiss the ground. Kiss the ground. Just not dragging, but kissing. You know what I mean? So anyway, then these sandals are from Zara. Bag from Chanel, because you know our bad bitches wear Chanel. Glasses from Emilio Pucci. And this is today's look. I'm tipsy. I can't even stand straight. Bye. So here's another episode of the Chronicles of the Hotel Elevator. Y'all see this bitch right here. She checking her out. Y'all see that? And then her, she's winking at her. Like, I want to get in on the action. He's a pedophile. Y'all see that? Oh, he looking at the baby. Oh, there's somebody behind you. That's oh, okay. No. I'm sorry. I don't want to interrupt the video. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's a vlogger, so... Y'all see that? It's always somebody trying to get in between what you got going on. She happy. She oblivious to everything. She like, ooh, she fine. Oh, y'all see that curve? Y'all see the curve of the booty. She a home record. I think it's been up to the terrace yet. 
We only, we, we were there yesterday. We were up there last night, yeah. and the music, the 90s hip hop, we love it. Was that what they were doing? Yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, good one. Thanks, you too. They're how long? Still four minutes. The Brooklyn Bridge. I leave tomorrow. This is where we're doing brunch, SoCo's. It says Southern Infused Cuisine, so I'm guessing it's. <laughs> Anybody for reference, we're on South Portland and Fulton Street. No, Biggie lives on St. James. And here's one of the uh, Biggie murals. There's a bunch. Here's one of them. So this is where Biggie grew up. But on the third this floor. One room shack. So you remember in this song? He said he had a one room shack. One room shack with the something in the back. What did he say? <laughs> What street is this? We're on St. James. You want to take a picture in front of the door? So we caught an Uber to another part of Brooklyn, Flatlands, and East 82nd. So That's this East is West. a pop smoke mural. Wow. He and this guy, his, me and his dad, we follow each other. I cannot remember his name. And his son, he's like 11 years old, and just died. Sad as shit. Yep. So they put him oh, up there with him. Wow. I, can, I, I looked through my Instagram and I'll be able to find it. Oh, that's awesome. awful. Yeah, He's the such artist? A cute little boy. No, they just end up putting him on there. Uh, oh, dang. Woo and peace, Pop. One thing New York is going to do is blow that fucking horn. Shit. Uh, huh? You like it? What look? I bought it. Well, thank you. Just pat all over. No, you're beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Oh, that was sweet. Y'all yeah, know I'm I'm out and open with mine. I, I done bought it. I paid for it. The gym helped a little bit, but the dollars helped a lot. Kino and Fitz just left, but they're coming right back because yeah, they left something in here. Yeah, no, I don't smoke. I can't believe I didn't film while they were here. Oh, 
I'm gonna just be waiting for them in the hallway. <gasps> Fuck. I locked myself out the goddamn room trying to get footage. this shit god damn it we appreciate you coming and i always make fun of tina for doing that i'm like how do you lock yourself out your room every time we fucking travel and now here i am oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what's up y'all follow kino fits i already said i'm gonna have it down oh uh, so yeah they have personal channels too <laughs> they need all the love all the love oh thank you y'all welcome of course and look at me barefoot child. let me talk to him for you what's their room number again y'all i'm Sad. Hold up. I'm so sad. Kino and Fitz are like literally the sweetest. And it's just so sad that they were just here with me chilling for like two, maybe three hours. May have been like, what time did they come? Yep, almost three hours. And we just sat, talked, and the vibe is just so like good and natural. Like, I forgot, didn't even like think to pull my camera out because it's just like, it's like you're sitting and you're just talking to a friend, you know? And I hope that's not bothering y'all, this girl doing ballet dancing. Let me cover her head up. There you go. Look at me, not her. Um, but it's just, I'm just sad, y'all. I'm just sad that I just don't know when I'm going to see them again. They're saying August. I hope that's, I hope they really do come to Houston in August. I feel lonely right now. <laughs> I mean, Tina's right down the hallway, but you know, she's in her room getting ready. Maybe I should make a drink, cut on some music so I'll be, I'll be more chipper, you know? Y'all, the lighting in here is absolute bullshit. But this is the outfit. These are some orange gaucho pants that I got from Trend Mall in Houston. Y'all seen them before? I literally have every color. It's my first time wearing the orange ones, but I have every color. This is just like a blue wrap top that I got from Crazy Boss. It's one of those tops that you can like tie in a bunch of different ways. I don't know if I should have it just tied like this. Or if I should bring the rest of it to the back and have it tied like this. This might be cuter instead of having something in the front. Ugh, I'm like so, let me sit down. I'm sad because y'all I'm sick. Like I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I've had the runs. If y'all don't like seeing my stuff, y'all can fast forward it. But this is what I'm going through right now. I feel like I have, I want to say food poisoning, but I don't know if it is. I don't know. Because, like, what the fuck did I eat that would have gave me food poisoning? I really thought it was my um, drinks because I had a drink here. Then I had a drink at the bar, uh, the restaurant we went to. And then I had three glasses of champagne. And a lot of times champagne, if I drink it with liquor, it'll make me feel sick. And that's what I thought it was. But it's been so many hours and I've been to the bathroom so many times. And my stomach just still feels uneasy that I'm like, do I have food poisoning? But I've actually had food poisoning in the past and it's making me think that it's not. Because when I had food poisoning, I was literally continuously throwing up shitting throwing up then shitting and throwing up and throwing up and it was just clear liquids coming out just throwing up non-stop and my baby daddy Ethan and Ashton's dad had got it too because we had wanted to edit this buffet he had got it too but his was like worse than my like he was throwing up so much that he couldn't even catch his breath to breathe like he was literally throwing up like laying on the ground holding up the bucket trying to throw up because he couldn't walk he was that weak and he was literally crying he was like i gotta go to the hospital 
crying. And that motherfucker, during a whole relationship, I only seen him cry three times. When his grandmama died, when I broke up with him, and when he had food poisoning. Then was the only three times I didn't see him cry. So that's how I knew it was like really, really bad. So even though I had it bad, I had to like take care of him because his was way worse than me. So we both had, he actually had to stay in the hospital for an entire day. They kept him in the hospital because he was that weak and that out of it. But um, yeah, so I don't think it's food poisoning, but why have I, why have I shit it five times? Like, oh my God. And why do I feel like if I just turn the wrong way, I'm going to puke? So y'all know it's a big part of me that wants to just tell my sister like, I don't feel good. I don't want to go anywhere. But that's what happened last night. We didn't do nothing last night. So I just kind of feel like I. this is our last night. Like I have to do something. This is um, Cartier perfume that I sprayed on. I really sprayed too much because that perfume is pretty strong. But it's like. I really don't even want to deal with heels tonight. I'm about this close to putting my flats on. You can't even see my feet because these pants are so big at the bottom and they're so long. I need lotion. Okay, y'all, so we're leaving Pergola. Headed where? I think we're going to do. Do? Yeah. Okay. We're going to do. What's that, a bar? Club? Club. Club. Yeah. I don't want to cut my light on because it's like so bright. Like, so Let's do it. No, because it brings too much attention. And then no. That's so bright. <laughs> <laughs> met a subscriber she didn't want to be on camera her name is Sierra. Sierra. i remember her name oh, i'm sorry <laughs> her name is sierra so hey boo if you're watching thank you for stopping to say hi yeah we're about to eat i'm tired like I, I feel like i could just fall asleep right now when we stop i'm gonna get, eat this i ain't even about to finish all this food i'm gonna eat a little bit and take my butt to sleep because we gotta be up early in the morning we only gonna have about three four hours of sleep 5 a.m. on the streets of New York. 18 wheelers are honking at us because Tina looks like a street walker. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> but y'all, it's 5 a.m. and it feels like it's about to start raining. What the fuck? 5 o'clock in the morning. Where you gonna be? Outside on the corner. You gotta get yourself together. Something, something, something. <laughs> okay, where the fuck is the Uber? Is it about to rain? Like, it's really about to. Is the sun coming up? The sun is like about to start coming up. This is crazy. Look, it's blue. You 
You said what, Tana? And I'm only gonna have four hours of sleep. I'm so sleepy. <sighs> Good morning, New York. Good morning. Oh, y'all can't even see the real city like that. But anyway, it's checkout time. It's time to go. New York treated us amazing this weekend. We had so much fun. We did a lot. <sighs> I gotta come back soon. I got to meet Kino and Fitz. I met so many subscribers it's crazy crazy there was even one time me and tina were walking down the street and i just hear boom 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 gina gina janine i love you i love you like the love is real out here like for real um mondrian hotel definitely i recommend you guys stay here it's nice. The rooms are small because it is New York. It's older because it is New York. Everything in New York is just old. They keep their architecture. I love that. Um, but just know that you're paying like Mondrian prices for really small rooms. Um, but it's 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 very it's it's really nice. I like it. Tina did have issues with her room uh, on the very first night. She was in my room for about an hour, hour and a half because the electric thing on her door went out. Then the very next day, she had maintenance in and out because they said a leak was coming from her room. So when we go downstairs to check out, I'm hoping they comp her. They really need to comp her. If not for the whole stay, at least like the first two days. So we'll see. But all in all, I do recommend Mondrian. It's in Park Ave in the bougie area, you know. And yeah, y'all, come to New York. Well, I ain't about to end the vlog just yet because we about to head to the airport. We're going to check out the Centurion Lounge there. The Centurion Lounge is the first place that y'all saw. Um when we were leaving Houston. That's the um, lounge for Amer Platinum American Express holders. It's all you can eat food, drinks, everything is complimentary. Um, and then, you know, it's just a place that you can wait for your flight. So that's what we're actually about to do now. I need to text her, see if she's ready. Let me show y'all what I'm wearing. This is just a two piece DD set. It's the 8.99 DD set that I think I showed you guys about a week or two ago. And then my sneakers and then just a crop denim jacket. So we made a stop at Bread's Bakery. Y'all can see the name up there. But uh, there's Tina wanted to stop here. We tried to go here the other day. She follows this New York food vlogger, and um, they have a black. It's called like a black and white cookie. And she was just like, I have to try this. I have to try. I have to try it. So that's what uh, she ran in there to get. So we'll be trying that on our way to the airport. It's nice having a sister who's also a foodie. <laughs> I get to have somebody to eat with all the time and try new stuff with. But y'all, uh, remember last night when I was telling y'all that I was nauseous and like stomach hurting, just down bad for hours. I started feeling better as the night progressed, as we went out and stuff. And I actually had a couple drinks, but in that beginning, like that first, oh Lord, hour, th two hours really, I couldn't, mm -mm. but I, we had stopped and got some of this. This works really good. It's ginger gum. So this, this actually helped me out. So you just like, you chew it and get like the ginger flavor. And when the gum loses the flavor, if you still feel nauseous, you pop another piece in. But my nausea pretty much went right away. It's like within the first like three minutes of me chewing this gum. So I had like two pieces back to back and then I was cool. I was able to eat. And then probably like 15 minutes after I ate, I started feeling nausea again. So I popped two more pieces and then I was good again. So, yeah. Talk about me. Mm -hmm. I, I said, it's nice to have a sister who's a foodie as well. <laughs> LaGuardia. LaGuardia, yes. I'm yes. a B. Uh, yeah. You want to go to B? I bought a We just need to go to LaGuardia. We need to go United. Down. I love B. B, B. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me just oh my god let her have it. It's like a croissant. New York's black and white cookie made with a croissant. It's totally different than your traditional black and white cookie in New York. So I always hear how good they are. I see them all on the internet. I'm about to find out. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. What's it. inside of it? Mm. <laughs> it's good. That's good. Look at Tina. She's filming a dog. There's a tiny dog up there, and she's taking pictures of it. She, all our, our whole trip, she was taking pictures of people and their dogs. She is a that person, and look, she's trying to get closer. <laughs> but the dog is so cute, though. I wish they let me stand up so y'all could see it. So this is the Centurion Lounge in LaGuardia Airport, Terminal B. Big. There's seating over here. Do you want to sit like at a couch, kind of, or? We got some chicken, a zucchini, don't know what that is, and rice. All right, guys, we're done. We're at our terminal. They're boarding right now. So I'm going to catch you guys back in the next vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check down below for all the places that we went to, links, everything. Y'all know how I do. All right. You want to say bye? You want to say bye? She don't hear me. All right, bye, y'all.